in this lecture we will discuss about these two concepts that is cascading of ripple counters or asynchronous counters and what is the drawback in ripple counters right in the previous lecture we have seen how to design a ripple up down counter that is same circuit should do the up counting as well as the down counting now when we connect the ripple counters cascade suppose one counter is mod n counter another counter is mod m counter so equivalent we will get mod mn counter right so that is if the input clock frequency is f the output of this clock frequency will be f by m into n right so something like this so if i cascade to like this so mod m into n or n into m both are same so we will get mod mn ripple counter right the frequency will be divided by f by mn right if we take example so in the first example so first counter is mod 10 ripple counter the second counter is mod 4 ripple counter so combinedly we will get mod 40 ripple counter that is if this is the clock frequency as f so what we will get f by 40 suppose this f is equal to suppose 100 megahertz right the output clock frequency will be 100 by 40 megahertz that is we will get only 2.5 megahertz only right see so that is compared to the input clock frequency the output of this uh, ripple counter the frequency will be very low compared to the input clock frequency so similarly we can have like this so mod 6 the, it can be anywhere right so mod 6 uh, initially and the next stage is mod 10 ripple counter so what is the overall will get mod 60 ripple counter right suppose if f is equal to 60 megahertz so what is the output clock frequency simply 1 megahertz only right suppose if i take this is as f naught right so f naught will be only 1 megahertz see very low compared to the input clock frequency so this is the cascading of this uh, ripple counters or asynchronous counters now we'll see what is the drawback of this uh, ripple counters or asynchronous counter see up to now we did not consider the propagation delays in ripple counters yes or no now we will consider the propagation delay then we will see what is the operation what is the effect of operation so it is a 3 bit ripple counter so i am using the negative edge trigger t flip flops right now suppose think that each flip flop is having a propagation delay of t p d so this is also having the same propagation delay if i assume so all are having the propagation delays of TPD right now so what happens if you apply the negative edge trigger at the first flip flop so what will happen the flip flop always this first flip flop will always change its state right but previously we did not assume any propagation delay of this flip flop now the Q0 will change its state after some propagation delay right similarly this uh, flip flop 1 or the second flip flop will change its state after again one more propagation delay see this propagation delay is here so q0 will come after some time that q0 is driving the next flip flop so this flip flop is also having some propagation delay so this propagation delay and this propagation delay accumulate to change q1 similarly this output is uh, again driving the next flip flop right so when when it will change q2 after again one more propagation delay so when i want to change this q2 so this q2 will wait for three propagation delays that is when these uh, no, stages are increasing the propagation delay is accumulating right so that we'll see in timing diagram also if i see here this is the clock negative edge trigger clock this is q0 q1 q2 now see previously we did not assume any propagation delay so it the q0 was changing at this moment right in this uh, pink uh, line dot dot lines but now it will take some propagation delay to change see 0 to 1 it is taking some propagation delay similarly if you see here actually it should change here but it is taking some time to change so every time the negative edge comes it will change the state that is q0 so every tpd uh, seconds or we can say after some time it is changing its state now if i go to the q1 so q1 will change its state the prop uh, what you call the clock comes what is the clock for this uh, second flip flop q0 so when q0 is negative edge trigger then it will change but actually it should change here but it is taking some time to respond so that's why again one more delay will come here see actually 
it should uh, respond here and it should also respond here but this q0 is changing a propagation delay like this then the q1 is also taking some propagation delay so total 2pd so to change this q1 so we need to wait for 2pd seconds or we can say some time then similarly it will accumulate 2pd after 2pd after 2pd and so on now if i go to q2 so this will wait for 3d 3tpd right because this is one tpd the second flip flop also is taking some more time and third flip flop also will take some time so the total propagation delay accumulate here now so what is the maximum propagation delay propagation delay here i will get 3tpd right if uh, number of flip flops are more we will get suppose four flip flops i will get 4tpd five flip flops 5tpd and so on now if i see here what is the state here see this is the 0 this is the 1 1 right now 0 1 1 2 so what is this state 1 0 0 yes or no so to change the state from 0 double 1 to 1 double 0 how much time the counter is taking the delay is 3 times of tpd see here so it is taking some time it is also taking some time it is also taking some time so it is uh, accumulating here that maximum propagation delay will get in this ripple counter is three times of tpd see here this is zero 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 so to change from this zero zero one so we are taking only tpd time next so to change from zero zero one zero zero one to zero one zero something like this zero one zero so we are taking only two pd time so but what is the maximum propagation delay we will get only in this condition that is 0 double 1 to 1 double 0 that is see q2 should also change q1 also change q0 also change so here we will get the maximum propagation delay so that also we will see from the truth table also see from triple zero to double zero one only one flip flop is changing so it will take only one propagation delay so from 0 0 1 to 0 1 0 so two bits are changing so it will take two uh, propagation delays 0 1 0 to 0 double 1 only one bit is changing but if I see here 0 double 1 to 1 double 0 so three flip flops should change its state so here we will get the maximum delay so what is the maximum delay here I will get three times of TPD propagation delay of flip flop right so what is TPD here this is the propagation delay propagation delay of one flip flop okay now so what is the drawback is see it is taking some time right so that's why the asynchronous counters are uh, ripple counters we can say these are the low speed devices or low speed counters right so that is the one drawback we will see one more drawback in ripple counters due to this uh, propagation delay right if the total propagation delay is large compared to the clock period the counter may skip a state right so we have seen the propagation delay is accumulating right if the total propagation delay is more compared to this clock period then the counter may skip a state so that we will see so this is also one drawback that is i am taking the three bit ripple up counter something like this and it is using negative edge trigger so it should count the up counting that is triple zero to triple one and should come back to triple zero when we apply the eighth clock right if there is no propagation delay so I, if i take the ideal case it will follow like this now if we consider each flip flop is having some propagation delay as tpd so this is also having same propagation delay as tpd and tpd now what is the maximum propagation delay maximum propagation delay in this counter is three times of tpd that is where we will get so when the state is 0 double 1 when it is uh, changed to 1 double 0 here we will get the maximum propagation delay as tpd right now if we assume suppose if tpd is equal to suppose 0.5 microsecond so what is the maximum delay or a maximum propagation delay we will get in this uh, 3 bit counter i will get 3 times of tpd that is 3 into 0.5 means 1.5 microsecond is the total propagation delay 
now if we assume this uh, clock period as we are uh, applying the external clock as small compared to this one suppose if i assume this is some one microsecond right so clock period is one microsecond but the total propagation delay of this counter is 1.5 microsecond then what is the problem we will see right so that is i have taken the timing diagram something like this so the clock period is i have taken one microsecond tpd is as 0.5 microsecond so the total propagation delay total propagation delay here i will get 1.5 microsecond right. due to this what is the effect we will see now this is the clock so what is the clock period is one microsecond right so every one microsecond we will get one clock now so q0 in q0 q1 q2 initially all will be zero now the moment first uh, negative edge comes q0 should change its state so actually it should change here if there is no propagation delay if there is a propagation delay of 0.5 microsecond that is half of this clock period so there it will change the state see so from 0 to 1 it is changing after 0.5 microsecond because it is a 1 microsecond is the total clock period now it is changed state then it is continuing but the negative um, my next negative edge come here but will it change its state no it is taking time so after again 0.5 microsecond it is changing its state and it will continues like this see so this is a, a negative edge is coming but it will not changing the state it will change after 0.5 microsecond again see after half period then again see actually it should change here but it is changing at after 0.5 microsecond and so on see it should change here but it is changing here it should change here but it is changing here and so on so i have drawn the q0 similarly when i when we are drawing the q1 so it will follow the q0 as the q0 is the clock for the next flip flop so q1 is is uh, q1 will change its state when q0 is negative edge trigger so at this point the q1 should change will it change no it is taking some time again it will change after 0.5 microsecond see the propagation delay is 0.5 microsecond so at the c this is the actual edge but after 0.5 micro means in this uh, what you call it, in this line so it is changing its state and so on it will be maintain that state but it should change in this region here but it is taking the time again half period so it will take 0.5 microsecond so at this point it is changing its state again so again it is continuing the state when the negative edge comes this red line actually it should change its state but it is taking the time again 0.5 microsecond again it is changing its state and so on but what happens to q2 q2 will follow the q1 yes or no when the q1 is having a negative edge trigger then only it will change state so this is the negative edge will it change directly here no it is taking again the one half period of the clock that is 0.5 microsecond so actually it should change here but after some time see here after some time it is changing its state see remember this is the tpd that is which is equal to 0.5 microsecond yes or no now see here so it is changing the state here see actually here i should change the state but i am taking the two times of this pd approximate i mean one microsecond see 0.5 microsecond 0.5 microsecond microsecond so after one microsecond i am changing the state of q1 now what happens to q2 if you see here actually it should change the state here but it is taking how much time three times of tpd which is 3 into 0.5 microsecond so 1.5 microsecond after 1.5 microsecond q2 is changing its state actually it should change here but it is taking 0.5 microsecond 0.5 microsecond 0.5 microsecond see here it is just changing here now what is the problem here we'll see if i see at this negative edge so sub previously it was 0 0 still at this negative edge i am getting 0 0 0 now in this edge so what is the state c 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 next at this stage what is the state 0 1 0 so 0 0 1 to 0 1 0 no problem if you see at this edge right it is 0 1 1 now if you see in this edge what is the state again it is coming as 0 1 0 now again one more edge so what is this 1 
0 1 now the moment see 0 1 1 2 again the it is jumping to 1 0 1 as yes now in between we are getting 0 1 0 so actually what is the next state after 0 1 1 I should get 1 0 0 if I see the truth table the truth table see after 0 double 1 we should get 1 double 0 so we are skipping this sequence as yes or no or we can say this is state see that is I am showing here so 0 double 1 after this I am getting directly 1 0 1 in between it may go jump to 0 1 0 so due to this uh, propagation delay so we are assuming that the total propagation delay is more compared to the clock period then we are skipping a state yes or no so 0 1 1 to 1 0 1 see again if you go to the next clock something like this see here 1 1 0 I am getting and next state I am getting 1 1 1 see so what we are skipping here we are skipping 1 double 0 because of this propagation delay they see accumulated propagation delay not single flip flop propagation delay this due to this three times of TPD this Q2 is changing very slow so due to that we are we are skipping a state so there is a major problem in this ripple counters right so the propagation delay is accumulating when this clock is rippling through these stages see this clock should ripples through these stages so that's why this Q2 is changing the state very slow right after three times of TPD if the number of stages are more and more now we may skip two two three states right so that is a major uh, uh, drawback in this uh, ripple counter now how to avoid this uh, drawback is so that will pose a constraint on this clock if if the clock period suppose if it is minimum at least if it is greater than or equal to this n times of this uh, propagation delay of flip flop so what is the n number of stages or we can say number of flip flops right and what is the TPD it is the propagation delay of each flip-flop if there are four flip-flops and the propagation delay is one microsecond the minimum clock period should be at least four microsecond then only the ripple counter works properly right so or we can say we can reliable on this counter so reliability means there should not be any skipping of any sequence the operation should be as it is that is it is counting five count means it should uh, not skip any any count or any sequence so that is a reliable operation so we will get a reliable operation when the clock period is following this condition that is the clock period should be at least to n times of tpd if it is more very good right so that is the constraint so we have to remember this constraint so sometimes in the gate exam, exam they may ask so for proper operation in counters or for reliable operation in counters what is the minimum clock period or maximum of clock frequency etc if I convert this at clock period into frequency this will become 1 by f clock that is we know right so time period is inverse of the frequency yes or no so 1 by f clock is greater than or equal to n times of tpd so I can make like this 1 by n times of tpd is greater than or equal to f clock or we can say f clock should be less than or equal to 1 by n times of tpd right so the clock frequency should be less than or equal to 1 by n times of tpd so what is the maximum clock frequency we can apply here so f clock is equal to 1 by n times of tpd so this is the maximum clock frequency we can apply in this ripple counters if we apply the clock frequency more than this so the uh, ripple counter may skip a sequence or may skip a state right so that should not happen so there should be a reliable operation for the uh, reliable operation the clock frequency should be is equal to 1 by n times of tpd or if it is less than also no problem that but this is the maximum clock frequency and this is the minimum clock period or we can say see t clock should be greater than or equal to so minimum is n times of tpd so this is about some drawbacks in ripple counters and how to overcome those drawbacks using the at least the minimum clock period should be n times of tpd or the maximum clock frequency should be equal to 1 by n times of tpd right so anyway these ripple counters are slower yes or no 
but we need a faster counter or faster devices so so anyway these drawbacks also will be overcome in another counters that is called synchronous counters so the synchronous counters are very fast compared to this ripple counter how they are fast and what is the operation and how to design those that we will see in the next lecture if you are having any doubt please post a comment